on, we respect the Bible, homie. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hey, I need Bible you to bag respect. up, bro. Don't be disrespecting no, them. They learning. Like Can you prove it? Can you prove it? Can you prove that? What scripture? They sick. What scripture? You're gonna be a theologian. What scripture? You said I didn't say niece. Jesus didn't love them. Are you crazy? You said about come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna tell you why I said something about. Listen. I'm talking about but you. Are you, you gonna listen to me? He who has not seen the first stone. Are you gonna listen to me? Are you gonna listen to me? That's why nobody wanna respect. Are you gonna listen to me? They divide. He divide. We all divide. We all divide. Yeah. Why we said something to her? You wasn't here. That beautiful sister, who's your niece and your great niece, she was out here selling drugs, busting moves with her daughter standing That's right next to her. We all sick, bro. Everybody sick. I'm trying to all tell her. Give me back. We come. This for y'all, uh, bro. Or, what we do? What well, we now, come to bro. Listen, we out here because we love your niece and your yeah, love. We love and we out here, bro. All right, I'm done talking, man. I can't over talk him. How you doing, mama? We are the children of Israel. We don't know this, cause we listen to Lil Boosie. So therefore, we don't know we the children of Israel. They ready to beat us up because we don't listen to the, uh, we were ever seeing this, that's where we gonna be at. So if it's drug dealers, if it's prostitution, if it's, if it's air, and guess what, brother? We be everywhere. Don't you see these men right here? Don't you see? Hey, don't you hey? Believe me, people got people got phones and they call us and say thank y'all for coming out there. The people say thank y'all for coming out there. We love you, OG. We love you, G. We gonna go home. Believe me, we gonna go home. We be right back here next time. We love you, G. We gonna go home. Believe me, we gonna go home. We be right back here next time. Two forty-seven. We finna go. We gonna let y'all get back to killing and shooting up and killing one another. I'm gone. We gonna let y'all get back to drug dealing and killing. We come out here for that. Come on, we are praying. Bro, you still out here you still with the same thing. You ain't changed. That's why. No, you ain't neither. You ain't neither. The keys, right? The you talking about her. You doing worry about her. You supposed to be trying to help us. Right. Or deal. Hey, the spirit Which one? Yeah. He said we're supposed to be trying to help him. We are, brother. You ain't going to help me. You can't help me. You, you can't help we me. Got your attention. You ain't got my attention. You here in front of me. You, you, you got damn right. Attention. When you no, fuck you with not. my daughter. She selling drugs for her daughter in the car. We love her boy. Where? Where? Where's her daughter in the car? You you can't help me. You ain't got my attention. You here in front of me. You damn right. When you fuck with my daughter. She selling drugs for her daughter in the car. We love her boy. Where? Where's her daughter in the car? Where you see? Do you see? Did 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 you see? Show it to me. Show him on footage. Bro, no, keep your camera rolling. Bro, y'all supposed to be Just goddamn it. Help me. We are. We trying y'all hear me. Y'all are helping every the week. The God is not in hey, here. Look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, Every week. Y'all come right here. Every week. You come right here with this. Ask me anything. Bro, we love that baby. You don't know that baby. We love that baby. You don't. That baby in the back seat watching her mama sell drugs. What if somebody come and rob her and shoot that damn car with that baby in there? Then y'all gonna be talking about why? 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 Who is that? Cash the first stone. 
Man, what that mean? You cast a stone. What that mean? Hold on, hold on. You should cast a stone. Man, it's supposed to be too man. So I'm supposed to let y'all do this? We got no respect for purpose. No, go somewhere else. So I'm supposed to let y'all do this? We got no respect for purpose. No, go somewhere else. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow followers and believers of the faith, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. So, anyway, I want to go on this video. I believe it, I'll, I'll, I'll entitle it Enter Not Into the Path of the Wicked. But the message was good. You know, the brothers were speaking and they were speaking a good message. And maybe that's their lot to go into those particular locations. But I remember um, we got into it with Fopi and they um, said that we only go to safe spots. We don't go to where it's dangerous. And this is how we knew Fopi wasn't spiritual because um, unto the Lord, there's nothing that's not dangerous. <laughs> From your very own steps, right, to the very car you get into or the very food that you eat. So to the Lord, you know, when we see everything, everything is a danger. Now, the Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear and that's to do his Lord's work. But this is why when you read Matthew 10 and 5, it says, he says, go to the lost, enter not in the city of the Samaritans, but go to, to the lost sheep. Though, you know, once a bunch of Negroes get together, right? I'll say it like that. Once they get together and in wickedness, you can't pull them apart. They're tight knitted with demons. There's no breaking him away and making them realize that he's going off. You have to catch Jake in it with an open mind, you know, in a, a different scenario, a total, totally different situation, right? But them gathered together, standing on their car, listening to Lil Bootsy, right? Seeing his example of guns and being locked up. You can't do nothing for them, okay? What are you going to do? Now, they and to their defense so to speak they was dealing with a, a Christian but you can clearly see the Christian wasn't even about defending the scriptures as they don't watching these jakes do what they do you know it's insane to go post up right there in the projects because this is what it looks like with a bunch of crazed jake uh, inebriate, inebriated you know under the influence of not just drugs, but demons. Right? Proverbs 4 and 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass by it, pass not by it. Right? Turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not except they have done mischief, which is mischief going to high level of evilness and witchery witchcraft and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall so you got jakes out here who are willing to ride or die on the left hand side they do not want to hear the bible to tell them to hear the bible is to say hey do right turn away from all the wrong things that you were doing some people love wickedness more than they love themselves. You know, Jeremiah 4.22 says, My people are sottish. They're wise to do evil, which means habitual drunkards. They're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Now, the reason why I cut on the video, because I think it was a clip. It looked like the guy was there smoking, blowing smoke in the camera. I mean, come on, man. We're not trying to, you know, we don't want any of that kind of business. In, in that case, we don't want no smoke. <laughs> we don't want no smoke. We don't want that kind of smoke, man. Now, again, this IUIC group, these 
brothers of IUIC, maybe they're just set up to do those particular tasks that go in the hood and deal with that kind of behavior with microphones, you know? Us, if we happen to be in a situation like that, you know, we, first of all, we, not saying anything typically wrong with using a mic, but if we're dealing with the Christian, we're going to speak to him on it and we're going to deal with him where it's not going everywhere else. You're only out there for the lost sheep. You're out there for the elect. And a, and the lost sheep would be kind of delicate, man. They're not going to be like that. Now, if the, the the elect is amongst them, you can't pull them out of that when they're in that kind of condition. They're too under. They're too much under the influence. Not that the Lord can't do what He does, what He want to do. Because all our whole job is like Apollos to water, but Yahweh is the one that gives the increase. So that's all we have to do. There's a thing called doing too much. It goes on to say, um, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. And these brothers said, they said, hey, go home. We don't want to hear this. And they said, well, we'll be back next week. It's kind of almost like IUIC got the spirit of the head with that kind of detective police thing. They're kind of like almost like their police posted up on the block. We don't want to see this behavior. We love the little girl. They don't know the little girl. But they're saying they love her in a sense that that's our people. Well, the Lord gave them all up to a vile affection. They was all little at one time, man. They was all babies. In, in fact, the daughter, the grown man, the father, who had the daughter that ran over, you know, he raised her like that. And I guarantee you she was that little girl. When you read the commentaries about Babylon, and let me go to this real quick. Let me go to, is it Jeremiah 14 and 11? Then said the Lord unto me, pray not for this people, right? Because Jeremiah was having a problem seeing the behavior and how people how they was all screwed up. And the Lord was like, you know, their iniquity has to be accomplished. You know? You got to let them go. There's the thing you got to let them go. Got to let them go. Luke, Lamentations 4 and 9. They that be slain with a sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. So the ones that get slain with the sword is really like a merciful thing. For these pine away stricken through for want of the fruits of the field, of food. The hands of the pitiful women has sodden down their own children. And this is an example in the sense of what you're seeing. They're selling drugs in front of their own children. They don't care. You know, in their mindset, I'm doing what I got to do. You know, I had that mindset too at one time. You know, but we didn't have any guidance. I didn't have any guidance. And this is where the guidance come in with the truth. This is why he said, be healed. Heal the sick. These people are sick. But we only are supposed to heal the elect of the sick. They were the meat in their destruction of the daughter of my people. The Lord have accomplished his fury. He have poured out his fierce anger and have kindled a fire in Zion and it have devoured the fountains thereof. And this is why you see, you know, Israel in a condition that they're, that they're in. They're in a horrible, terrible condition. And this is, you know, this is a war zone, you know, and People say, well, y'all don't go into those deep hoods. You know, you got to go to the chief place where you can reach the whole multitudes. You know, the scripture says multitudes, kindreds, peoples, and tongues. So you can reach the multitudes, which would be Israelites that were scattered. You know, so they're not all going to be just a bunch of black people. Where are the, where are the other ones that look like other nations up in there? In those hoods. 
And if you fish for black people, you will get black people. And this brother even said, no, we're not fishing for the white man. He said that. But you got Israelites who look white. Uh, Luke 9 and 5, and whatsoever will not receive you when you go out of that city, shake off the dust of your feet for a testimony against them. Now, I'll say for the sake of the video, I don't know if they were there and always there and then those crazy dudes pulled up. But when they said, go home, we don't want you here. You got to shake the dust of your feet. There, there is no, it's not going to do you any good to stay in those situations, man. Next time they may have guns. Who knows? You know? Um, let me go into John 8. I'll just go over this real quick. This actually, I'm going to just go through this. This is actually talking about, we, we hear the guy uh, speak on, um, don't cast the stone. You cast in stones. And true, we know we shouldn't cast stones in a way um, that we cause trouble. But these brothers didn't. They did actually read and show them, but he shouldn't have, they shouldn't have went as far as saying, we love your daughter. And these people get offended on that, man. And all the scriptures says, spare not. But this is why we ought to reach the elect men. And that man even said, don't go to my daughter, you come to me. Okay. Um, I'm going to just read just some of this. Basically, this whole story about the adulterous woman. And um, he said, uh, so when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, he that is without sin among you, let him cast the first st stone at her. Now, why was he saying that? And again, he stooped down and ro rode on the ground. And they which heard it being convicted were uh, in their conscience yeah because they was of sin right this is why Paul was speaking on the law about how the law became corrupt and they corrupted the law in carnality and it was all about the law but it wasn't about the faith in the most high it wasn't about the first commandment it wasn't about loving your neighbor you know those things it was all about when you read on it talking about where they saw the commandment of Moses but then you had our people who were going off that needed repentance. And that's why he was there. Not that we throw away the law, no. But that's where we need mercy and grace. Goes on to say, and they which heard being convicted in their own conscience went out one by one um, at the elders, even until the last. And Yahawashah was left alone. <laughs> you could see it was still in order. And a woman standing in the midst. So she was by herself. They all left. When Yahweh says Jesus lifted himself up and saw no more, uh, saw none but the woman. He said to her, woman. Now, he, now mind you, Yahweh was down on the ground writing. You know, he had convicted them. You know, the, the most high is the, you know, Yahweh you could call. You know, you're a great magician. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's the top man of the spiritual realm. So he could cast out and do all the things he was doing. Right? When Jesus, Yahweh Shah lifted himself up and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are thou thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Yahweh Shah said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. So that was the key. This proves that the woman at the well was not an Israelite because he didn't tell her not to sin. I mean, go, uh, where did he say, tell her, go and sin no more? He said, he, you got five husbands. So we can see the examples where the Lord, when he dealt with these women, how he dealt with them. Right? He says here, go and sin no more. But with the heathen woman, he didn't. What's up with that? So these are examples of why the brothers was out there teaching, telling them to repent and turn from their ways and don't sin. You know, to the best of your ability. Don't do it no more. So this, you can't say, hey, I throw stones, those stones and say, okay, keep sinning. Do what you want. 
and then you come up with the excuse, don't throw no stones. You're sinners too. But the scripture says, uh, he that is spiritual judge of all things. So you can't be, you know, you can say, hey, don't throw stones and you have not sinned, cast the first stone. You just make an excuse to keep sinning. And that's what these people want to do. They have to hear, well, they don't have to, but these brothers are telling them, uh, repent. And these people all heard about the Israelites, man. They all heard about the Israelites. So it ain't no excuse. Anyway, that's all I have on that show.